How we doing everybody? This is the Pop Music Freak. I am back with another song fact countdown video. I am up to song number 942. It is the first big hit by an Australian band from 1980 that all of a sudden became like the biggest love song act of the early 80s. I'm talking about Air Supply and the song is Lost in Love, the first American hit. I can, I'll give you the song facts about this record and uh, this was kind of a weird beginning to their career becoming huge in the US. Uh, let me give you the rundown now. The Lost in Love is a 1980 song recorded by the Australian soft rock group Air Supply. The song was written by group member Graham Russell. The original version of the song appeared on the Life Support album in 1979 and was released as a single in Australia, reaching number 13 on the Kent Music Report, which is like their billboard. Um, the group re-recorded the song for the album of the same name in 1980, and this version was released as a single in the U.S., reaching number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100. Air Supply's popularity in their native country during the mid to late 70s had not been matched elsewhere. Russell traveled to England in 1979 and while there, discovered that the group's Australian record label, Big Time Records, had sold Lost in Love to Arista Records in the United States for distribution. Apparently, uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> At Arista Records, uh, the big shot, the old guy with the glasses, whose name is, uh, is, is eluding me right now. But anyway, he had heard the song somehow uh, and decided that he liked it and wanted Air Supply to re-record it for the U.S. market. Uh, so soon thereafter, the song became a hit on the music charts in the U.S. Uh, the song spent four weeks at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in May 1980 and topped the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart for six weeks that same year. Uh, Clive Davis was the name, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Cashbox... Uh, did a review of the song and uh, described it as soft rock with elegant acoustic guitar work, glistening harmonies, light rhythm, and electric piano touches. The song was featured in an episode of Family Guy, uh, E-Mission Impossible, um, also the 1981 American film Private Lessons, and the Australian film Hotel de Love. So, uh, so in reality, the original version was recorded late in 1978. Uh, and the re version that was uh, released in the USA, the re-recorded version, was done in January of 1980. Um, and it's worth noting that the new version was a lot shorter. It was 3 minutes and 51 seconds, while the original version was 5 minutes and 34 seconds. They decided to cut uh, some of the instrumental parts out for it to be compatible with radio in the USA because Clive Davis was really confident that they were going to become huge stars here, and he was right. As it turned out, he also uh, um, kind of uh, made some changes to the song All Out of Love. That would be the second single, second huge American hit for them. That, so they kind of changed the song a bit. Uh, they were going to record that for their next Australian album. But here they are in the USA, and all of a sudden they're big stars with a big smash record. And the, the, follow, the big follow-up uh, was written rewritten in some ways by Clive Davis <laughs> believe it or not um, but we'll get to that because that's on my top thousand as well there's a couple other air supply songs I'm sorry I'm a softy <laughs> teenager in the 80s you couldn't get away from air supply between 1980 and about 85 okay <laughs> anyway so that's the story so let me give you the chart situated the chart rundown on lost in love like I had mentioned it hit number uh, three on the billboard hot 100 it hit number two on the Cashbox Top 100. Hit number one on the Adult Contemporary Chart, not surprising. Hit number three in New Zealand, number 10 in France, number four in Canada, number one on the Adult Contemporary Chart in Canada, and hit number 13, the original time, 1979, was not re-released with the new version as a single um, until later on. But uh, then it finally became a hit. Um, year end charts, Billboard ranked it number the 15th biggest hit of 1980, and Cashbox ranked it number 15 as well. Now, there was a country version of it done. Uh, when was that done? That was also done in 1980, huh? 
Uh, Dickie Lee and Kathy Burdick hit number 30 on the country chart with their version of it. And uh, there was uh, Demas uh, Rosos covered a song, and it became a hit in Belgium and in the Netherlands. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's several versions. There was a dance version of it done in 1998. Really? No. 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 New Zealand pop group, Deep Obsession. Uh, no. Okay. And that hit number one in uh, New Zealand. Okay. Very interesting. So it's been covered several times. I never knew. I never heard them all. I barely heard the original uh, 1978, 79 version. Heard that once or twice, but anyway, I really liked the song Love Us in Love, as I liked a lot of their songs in the early going there. All right, so there we are, number 942 on my list, Lost in Love by Air Supply. There's the song facts rundown. I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. Please share them. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and, of course, the bell. I'm going to keep telling you about that bell. It will notify you when I've put up another video. This way, uh, you know, those of you that are really following along with this countdown and may like similar music to me, which is wonderful, uh, enjoy the ride because it's going to be a fun ride, I think. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm, I'm committed. I am going to make this happen. There may be times when I don't do it for a few days or there may be times I'll do pop out five in a day. It's, you know, I have a crazy life. What can I tell you? <laughs> all right. So thanks for watching. I wish you all peace and love. Thank you